Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So I'm back with another makeup look. I call this Who's Ready for Spring Part 2. Stay tuned. So first I'm going to come in with e.l.f. 16 Hour Camel Concealer, apply that on my lid, and go ahead and blend it out. After I have that all blended out, I'm coming in with the Morphe and Nyan palette. This is the Fierce Fairy Tale palette, and I'm taking this deep golden yellow, and I'm just going to apply that for the inner one third of the eye. Staying with that same palette, I'm going to come in with this deep magenta, and I'm just going to apply that for the middle portion of the eye. And staying with that same palette, this is going to be an electric royal blue. I'm just going to go ahead and pack that color on. I'm going to come back in with that same brush that I used to apply that magenta. And I'm just going to blend the two colors in between. And then go ahead and pack on a little bit more on the outer corner. Just to go ahead and blend and smooth everything out. I'll also be doing the same thing with the yellow and the pink. I'll just be alternating between the brushes that I use just to go ahead and blend the two colors so it's a nice smooth transition. You will have a bit of fallout so you can just go ahead and brush that away. So next I'm just going to come in with a brown that's the same color as my skin tone and go ahead and set that outer edge. And then I'm going to come in with a small blending brush and just lightly blend out the outer edges. For my brow bone area, I'll be coming in with a light metallic brown. This is from BH Cosmetics Ultimate Neutrals Palette. And for my bottom lid area, I'll be coming in with that same concealer. This is e.l.f. 16 Hour Camel Concealer and I'm just going to put down a base before applying my color on top. For the bottom lid area, instead of doing all three colors, I just decided to stay with that electric blue. So I'm just going to go ahead and pack that on. After I make sure it's really packed on, I'm just going to lightly blend it out before moving on to my next step. Next for my eyeliner, I'll be coming in with e.l.f.'s Expert Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just going to do a simple liner for this look. As a base for my inner corner, I'll be coming in with LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is in the color Sun Flare. And then right on top of that, I'll be coming in with that same light metallic brown that I use for my brow bone. For my waterline, I'll be coming in with Wet n Wild's Eyeliner Pencil. This is in the color Baby's Got Black. And then before applying my lashes, I'll just be coming in with a couple coats of mascara. This is Wet n Wild's Mega Wear Mascara. And for the lashes, I'll be coming in with my favorite. This is by INV. This is from their Chic 3D collection and this is the number 14. I'm just making sure to secure the inner and outer corners and then I'm going to pinch the false lashes with my real lashes just to have a flawless blend. Then I'm going to come in with that same mascara that I used for my top lashes for my bottom lashes. Next I'm just going to take a makeup remover wipe and remove any foundation or lip gloss I have on my lips before moving on to my lip color. And to line my lips, this is a pencil by Wet n Wild. This is in the color Seema Brown Now.
And for my lip color, this is my favorite. This is by NYX. This is their Butter Gloss in the color Marshmallow. I'm going to come back in with that same liner just to go ahead and redefine that line before moving on. I'm just going to add a little highlight to my Cupid's bow and go ahead and blend it out. And that completes the look. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And once again, thanks for watching.